to get this off my chest. Working night shift, 12 hours, three days a week, sometimes overtime. We're tired. On my free time, I want to go to sleep. At least that first day, I want to go to sleep. And when it comes to dating, you got to understand that. Like, if you don't understand that, it's not going to work. Like, you mad at me and blowing up my phone, thinking I with somebody and I'm really asleep. I don't need that type of stress in my life. I want my sleep and I want to sleep peacefully. They don't talk about that that much. I gotta... Well, we're going to talk about that today because we both know that you're not sleeping that much. And we both know you're probably entertaining other options. Just your attitude alone, you could tell. And I could see how men be attracted to you. You're cute and all that. So, you you know, you're playing games. You're deciding when you're going to answer the phone or when you want to talk to the guy. And your excuses. I work so many hours. Uh, I'm so tired and I have to sleep all the time. You don't need that much sleep. You're just playing games. And when you're talking about a man getting mad at you, no, a man is telling you, look, stop disrespecting me trying to convince me that I should believe that you're asleep when you're clearly just ignoring me playing games. That's what you're doing. So if you need to sleep so much and you work so much and you really don't have time, then why are you entertaining relationships? The truth is that if somebody wants to do something, guess what? They will make time to make sure that they can get it done. It doesn't matter how many hours they have to sleep or how far they have to drive or in some cases how much money they have to spend. They will get it done. You don't need to sleep that much. You're playing games because you know that you're attractive and you probably have a lot of men approaching you and you probably have your pick of the litter as far as numbers. So you're playing games and you're basically like, well, if he won't accept that, If he won't get on my program, then the next one will. And then you get with the next one and he might let it pass a couple times and he gets annoyed and he don't want to deal with you. Then you get with the next one and you do it again. And you keep telling yourself, one of these men is going to adapt to my program. They're going to have to understand that. And it never happens. And guess what? You just keep wasting time. And I'm sure you got your little cheerleader friends in your background saying, hey, girl, yeah, go. He better get with your program. It's all about you. Period. No. That's going to keep you single. Them looks you got, they're not going to last for long. They're going to keep fading. So you can make these little smoke videos all you want to, just like all the other women and play these games and act like you're so busy. Or in this case, you're so sleepy that you don't have time to deal with men. But there's going to come a day when men don't want to deal with you at all. Then what you going to do? Then you're going to be making videos talking about where did all the good men go? I can't find one. Because you didn't wasted so much time playing this game. And see, another reason, and this is to the fellas, another reason these women play this game like this, acting like they're so busy, because they don't like the fact that they perceive that men do it to them. A lot of the the, uh, things that these women do, if you pay attention, it's just a mimic of what they think men do. That's all it is. Because those men that are taking care of business, they're not at their beck and call. They're not responding right to their text. They're not immediately answering the phone because they're busy. You see, they're taking care of business, building resources. And so then you have women like this that try to adapt that same type of thinking. And that's why you hear them make these videos. Because if a woman truly wants you, she ain't going to make you wait. And she's going to make every single attempt to make that connection happen. She's not going to keep telling you she works 12-hour days, three days a week, and sometimes overtime, and she needs to sleep the first day. She's not going to tell you that. She's going to say, baby, I'll get off at at 9 a.m. Where you going to be? I'm tired, but where you going to be? That's what that woman will say. These type of women, they play games. And the prettier they are, the more games they play. So that's something that you have to understand as a man and don't fall for this because I know a lot of men are going to watch this video and I've seen it in my comments before where the woman is attractive 
and they start making excuses for her. And this is what these type of women depend on. I'm not saying you're a weak man if you do that. I'm saying watch what you do because women are always watching every single move a man makes. They jot it down in their memory bank, in the brain, and they store it there. We don't do that as men. Not as much. But they do that. So every single thing that comes out of your mouth, every single action that you take, women are taking notice of it. And they will use it in one way or the other for good or for bad. Either then and or in the future. So be careful. And for real, don't sit out there and be no simp and chase these kind of women around because they're looking for control. They're looking for men to bow down. And the qualifier is that they're attractive and you should just be so thankful to have the opportunity to connect with them, even if it's just whenever they want to. That's all I got to say about this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, because as always, this is just my opinion. But let me know what you think and make sure to like my video. It definitely will help the algorithm here on uh, YouTube because I'm definitely trying to make my channel grow. And thank you so much to all you guys who helped me get past that 2K uh, subscriber mark. Kind of happened quickly. I had one video that kind of went viral, which kind of blew me out the water. But I appreciate all that. And uh, if you're on TikTok, make sure to show me some love over there and give me a follow. I'd really appreciate it. And if there's anything you want me to review, you can always contact me. My email is in all of the uh, videos and in the YouTube thing itself. So. As always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. May the force be with you.